Welcome to our over dyeing experiment. I have a bunch of yarns here uh, from Weld, California, uh, lilac leaves, we have cochineal and madder, and loquat as well. And it looks like I may have gotten the not washed the cochineal quite perfectly enough. There's a little bit of over dyeing, but that's okay. I'm going to start a brand new pot super full of water because I want to get a very light color and the last time I did this with the blue it got very dark and we want to avoid that we're trying to get a range of colors not all not all just like pitch black with deep deep greens so we're going to try and get some light blue first okay I have a big old fresh dye pot that is untainted by matter unlike the other one that is now matter forever uh, and it is coming up to heat. I'm going to add just one dropper full of the Saxon Blue. And then I have one uh, skein of yarn that is already mordanted and has no color in it. So we'll see how much color it picks up when there's just one dropper full in the bath. And if it's not enough, we'll add some. And if it's too much, then dear war, I guess we have to add a bunch of water again and pray. Okay. Here's our Saxon Blue. We're gonna do one dropper full, which should be about a teaspoon, usually. I mean, we hope. And we're gonna put it in there. When it's uh, getting a little bit of bubbling going, we're gonna try some of our yarns and do an over dyeing experiment. I'm very excited about it. This is the entirety of my setup. Tong, binder ring, yarn, pot. Whew. We can do this. Don't be scared of the indigo, Erica. You can do it. It won't turn everything navy blue again. Be brave. Be brave. You can get a range of colors. You can do it. And if you don't, this little skein of yarn will soak up so much color that it'll probably be fine anyway. Let's do this. Okay, we can do it. We can do it. Okay, we got a lighter blue, officially. This is just after some dipping, literally. If I, if I left this in here, I'm sure it would collect more color. But I'm officially getting not pitch blue that's so dark instantaneously Whew, okay step one check don't make it so blue good job i might go get the really light pink that i have that came from the matter and dip that one at the same time because i think that that would make a really pretty lilac color so we will try them both and i will go get the metal pans that i forgot to rest these in while they're sitting Maybe you guys already know to do this, but I just did this so that I wouldn't lose the thing in the pot. And you could do that if you wanted to do like a dip dye on your yarn. Just saying. Wooden spoon. Go for it. Next one to go in is this uh, very light colored weld one that got a little bit cochineal stained, but we're going to let that go. And we're going to try for our lightest green of the day. We got this. Lightest green. Oh, I'm seeing green. I think we already might have to add to this dye bath. That's a better problem to have than having to take away. We learned that problem. It was not cool. Okay, I think we're getting somewhere. We're learning. We're sciencing. We're learning by experience. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, because the yellow was so light on this one, I don't know that we'll get it to improve too, too much. But look, it's an actual different greeny blue than that blue. So we're doing it. I might add a dropper full or two, not a dropper full, a drop or two of uh, the Saxon blue again. That was my glove squeaking. That was terrifying. Um, just to top it up because we're about to do some other colors. I have the California lilac, which is a greeny yellow already. And I think it might need a little bit stronger blue to get the job done. But I am thrilled that we got a lighter color for once. Oof, what a relief. Okay, next Next level of tonality. Okay, added 10 drops of Saxon Blue because we're going up in saturation. This is a very pinky peach from the Matter that should turn hopefully some kind of purplish color. Oh, this is the scariest one yet. This one's kind of turning into a khaki swamp, but it's uh, a color. We didn't say we'd like them all, but, well, maybe it'll look different when it's dry. This is the one that I damaged. 
by putting it too close to a cochineal, but it was a beautiful weld. <laughs> Oops. Uh, maybe it'll give us purple and green because it was next to cochineal. Uh, I don't know. This is called science by experimentation and we are learning. So let us learn. Well, after a whopping 15 seconds, that came out teal. How does 10 drops do this? Or is it just the yarn? What's wrong with you? Why do you do this? You take too much color. Be like your brother. He doesn't take anything. Ugh. Considering those were lighter yellows than this one, which is my California lilac leaf. Um, R.I.P., buddy. You're about to be teal, apparently. We were going for sea foam. How did this happen? I may have lightly burned myself getting it out of there, but it's green! Woo! Woo! It's green! I did it, finally. Something green! First thing this whole month, honest to God. It started happening very fast, and I had to get through it, but we got a range of greens and blues. In fact, we did it. Okay, so now I'm going to take the cochineal and pray that it had exhausted the bath a bit so they won't be instantly super duper purple. Again, things started happening very quickly and I had to go. Uh, but here is our other over dyes. These are the cochineals. And you can see, it kind of like reveals where your first dyeing process was a little uneven, which is kind of fun. But these, I think, are going to be really, really, really pretty when they're dry. And then we have la -la, the greens. So I'm going to wash everybody and get them all drying. And we will review when they're all done for our Saxon Blue Over Dyeing experiment. I'm going to be bold and make a triple decision. This dye, uh, this yarn was dyed with the cochineal and low quad bath but it's kind of a true red and i want to see if i get a different purple than the other cochineals from the indigo bath it's still warm i'm gonna rinse the soap off of this and do it we're doing it it's time for science well i would say the over dyeing went very well wouldn't you look at all the colors for the library that we didn't have before we didn't have true purples we didn't have this weird mauvey color we didn't have a true blue. We didn't have the seafoam green. We didn't have this weird gray green that the matter made. And then look at the, <gasps> yay, the California lilac leaves. Loved turning green. So happy. Those will all dry and then they'll be done. All righty. Well, what an over dying experiment that was. Uh, you can definitely see my inexperience with dyeing with wool yarns. Please be kind about the variegation. I like it but I know that it's a sign of my lack of experience, so that is okay, I'm well aware. This was our control to make sure that our Saxon blue bath was not too blue, so that was just plain. This one was on a very, 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 very worn out uh, weld. This set are my absolute favorites out of the whole set. Look at them, look at them. Those were once California lilac. It's much more kind of limey than this looks in the picture. Again, it could be my blue light blocker. But these two were California lilac leaf, which was this really wonderful kind of like mossy, like uh, grimy kind of yellow, which turned the most beautiful green. These, this one in particular, is over weld that was just a nice rich yellow. This one, Weirdly, I used matter on, and the matter made it a very soft pink because the dye bath was almost exhausted. But when I tried to put it in this, I left this one in longer than any of these other ones, and I kept rotating it through and rotating it through, and it really just got kind of gray, and there's a very deep tan undertone. So it's a really beautiful gray-blue that I'm not sure that you could mimic if you tried <laughs> but uh that was the saxon blue over very worn out matter it also struggled more to take up the color it just didn't take it up as well so the matter definitely has an effect on your wool the next one is also just weld but i accidentally put it up against a less than perfectly washed cochineal in the pre-soak 
and where it touched the coach needle, it turned purple, obviously, because it went yellowish pink, and then it got the blue, so it went kind of a purpley color. And I really love, I just love the variation of green. The next ones are on cochineal. This one's actually a more lilac-y purple. Again, could be my blue light -like blocker. But this was the very lightest cochineal I could get, and I dipped this for less than 20 seconds in that Saxon blue, and it turned that color. The, the, the super fine fingerling weight of the merino in the alpaca just devours dye. This one was also on cochineal. It was a slightly lighter um, one to start with, just by the nature of the yarn, but it turned it this really wonderful mauve. Uh, this is a weirdo. <laughs> this one, uh, I had actually dyed in matter first, then I put it in the cochineal to see if I could get it to turn a true red. It turned kind of red, and then I decided if I could get it to turn purple. But I'd added so much brown that it turned kind of a lovely burgundy. And it's a little bit variegated, which is also kind of fun. And again, it had that graying effect, just like uh, this one over here. It has that graying effect from the matter. And then this one was a very, very dark cochineal that I used to soak up a bunch of a dye bath. And so I figured that the blue would turn it a very dark purple. But my number one mission was to not get any that were the same color. And I think I can say I succeeded at that. That was extremely fun. I highly recommend just making a flip flap and rainbow if you want to out of leaves. Freaking leaves. Dead bugs. Leaves. Dead bugs. Leaves. 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 Indigo. Leaves. It's so cool. I just really love it. What a fun practice. Anyway, I really hope that you guys will spend a dollar fifty on a hank of yarn, of good yarn, and dye yourself something, because it was it's just really fun. I just enjoyed that so much. I really hope that you'll like and subscribe. If you would be so kind, please leave a comment and let me know which of these was your favorite skein from our Saxon Blue over dyeing experiment. Thank you so much for coming along. If you would be so kind, I would be so grateful for your follow. And please come stitch with us online. We're nice people. Okay, and I'll see you in the next experiment. Bye!